$5,000 a table for dinner. I know, I know, but 100% of the proceeds will be going to save Matthews Park. But, no, but sir, um, you're an alum. You know how beautiful that park is. Let me try to picture the campus without it. Yes, yes, you can write it off for taxes. Oh, great. Okay, so I'll put you down for one. Awesome, excellent, thank you. I'll see you in two weeks. Yes, at the Reynolds Dining Hall. Thank you. So, that's one more alum behind Matthews Park. If we can get 50 more like him in the next two weeks, we'll make it. <laughs> That must be one wealthy alum you're texting. One sec, it's Matt. You know, I should really be looking for another job instead of dealing with this superficial BS. Excuse me? I'm sick of this. Come on, Ivy, every time you just hop from pet project to pet project, trying to find yourself. And then when it finally comes time for you to, to step up and have some responsibility, you just kind of lose interest. Kind of like all your boyfriends. Because what? Freshman year, it was, hmm, Ivy dates a rock star. Then, Ivy dates an athlete. Now it's what? Ivy dates the apostle? Calling him the apostle isn't funny anymore. Leave her be, Carrie. They're right out of the oven. Everyone gets a little distracted at that stage. Oh, come on. You're encouraging this inevitable train wreck? Don't be so negative. <sighs> Ivy. Our stubborn agnostic dates an equally stubborn Christian. Hmm, a match made in heaven. Can't you just let me be happy? This isn't about me. God, Ivy, it's not even about the park either. It's about you not wanting to listen to the truth. Matt's not going to change for you, Ivy. What is your problem? I'm just going to get hurt. <laughs>